I received a phone call from a friend of mine who recently purchased a studio drum kit for his studio. And everything is permanently set up with similar microphones and the same setup so he has nice consistent results. And he was looking for quick ways of being able to quickly recall all of the channel settings that he's painstakingly set up in Cubase for all of the processing for gates, compressors, and EQs for the different tracks. He didn't want to start off with a template for fear that he would be stuck with the same type of tracks and you would have different instruments in addition to the drums. So we came up with a couple of different techniques I showed him. One was to simply select all of the drum tracks in the project and we could right click and we're going to save these as a track preset. So we'll just call this AAA drums. And we will hit OK. So when we want to go to a brand new project, we can come right over here. Let's say we go to an empty project. We'll activate this project. And if we wanted to add the particular drums, we could say, let's add a track using a track preset. We want to select multi preset and we'll say AA triple A drums. So when we just double click now, all of the drum settings with their processing has automatically just been carried over as one single file. We could also, if we wanted to do it a little slicker, we could come over to your media bay. We could go to user presets, to track presets, to multi, and we could just take our drum file and just drag it over and all of the drums with all of their processing has automatically occurred. Another method would be to use the import tracks from project. So we will just select, go to your file menu to select import tracks from project. And what we want to do is to just select the particular project. We'll hit OK. And we could come directly here to our folder. And at this point, we could choose to create new tracks but I may not want, if I had drums that were recorded, I may not want the actual events and parts, but maybe the channel and inspector settings. So I could select all the drums, including the folder, and hit OK, and they're all carried over directly into my project. Now, if I had similar drums and similar recordings that I wanted to update, so let's say if I have this project, and I wanted to update the drum mix and all of the different drum mics in this project from another project. I will just come to the original project that I want to get the sounds from. We could open up our full screen mixer console and we could do this by hitting F3. I will now select all of my different drums. We'll go to this little drop down menu and we could say save selected channels. And we'll give it a name. And let's go back to our other project that we wanted to carry over those drum mix settings to. So we'll activate this project. So we'll have different drum settings. And what I want to do now is to, let's say, even we'll just move all these faders down just so we'll see the change in the faders. So I'm gonna go to my full screen mix console, select all of the drum channels here. So if it was the same drum settings, and then we'll say, let's go ahead and load selected channels. And we'll call this our triple A drums mix and hit open. And all of the settings again would automatically be carried over from our particular settings. So as you can see, there's a number of ways to practically migrate settings to new projects or take the settings to existing projects using these functions in Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.